Eat some bitch. What's up going on everybody? It's your boy RDR and welcome back to RDR Food Reviews. And today is a glorious day. As you can hear, the birds are chirping. So it's a wonderful day. It's a wonderful day today, especially for you guys, because I know a lot of you guys have been asking me, begging me, crying on your knees, you know what I'm saying? I had one nigga talking about he was gonna kill himself if I didn't give y'all another story time. Which I hope he's still alive or, or I didn't block him or whatnot, because Hurt, he wouldn't get to see today's episode. So yes, today your boy RDR is breaking in a story time video for you guys, and the, and accompanied the with that, I'm breaking in a new chain. Well, it's not a new chain, but it's new on the channel. It's my first time ever. Denny's mukbang. That's right. So we're gonna hit up Denny's today, and we're gonna get some uh, deluctables from there, and we're gonna pair it up with a story time video, and that's what we got going on today. So hope you guys are ready. This is RDR food reviews. And I'm back. Okay, so all that brings us here. Let's get right into the business. You feel me? So what I got here is the Grand Slam sandwich. Something that very much intrigued me. The pot, the pot roast melt. I got some of their cheesy tots over here. And I got some of their seasoned fries. And of course, unsweet tea to quench my thirst. So let's go ahead and stop bullshitting because I got a lot to say. And let's get in a quick moment of prayer first. Father, thank you for this food I'm about to receive. Help this food nourish my body, make me stronger as a person, stronger as a man. Bless those who grow hungry as a prayer to please find them some need. The only gracious my name we pray. Amen. Love you, Father. All right, now, and uh, let's get a quick thumbnail in. Jeez. Okay, let's do this again. This time on this side. Okay. Gotcha. All right, now. So, today's story time is going to be the trading card high story time. Okay. Let's get right into this bitch, Cuddy. So, this started my seventh grade year. Understand me? My seventh grade year. And, uh, so, during this time, uh, it was just like a pretty much a typical day, you know what I'm saying? Uh, during the seventh grade year, I was I had a girl. Her name was Brittany, uh, and my boy Archie. He was in the eighth grade. You know, we was in the seventh. Last it was a wonderful, wonderful year. You know what I'm saying? Now this particular day, we were going to class, right? Or not going to class? We were in between classes. This nigga Archie was like he wanted to go to the library. This nigga had like a foot fetish or a reading fetish for that accelerated reader shit. He was super horny about fucking getting accelerated reader points. Type of nigga that was bragging and shit. Like, oh, nigga, I got fucking, I got fucking 100 points. How many points you niggas got? Nigga, don't nobody give a fuck. 
<laughs> yeah, Cuddy, this nigga was mass horny about getting accelerated reader points. So we walk with this nigga to the library so he can go return these pussy ass books, right? And while me and this nigga Archie's over here, not Archie, me and this nigga Stan is over here just making our rounds of motherfucking around the, the library, we see these niggas all huddled up in different groups and shit around the library. So we go over here and just walk and just see what these niggas is into. Now these two twins, uh, let's call these niggas like Eric and Enrique or some shit like that. And it was this big pun looking motherfucker. Let's just call that nigga Alex or some shit, right? This is that Grand Slam. Mm-hmm. Already. These niggas was over here playing motherfucking Pokemon cards, Cutting. It's the first time I ever seen this shit. Mm. Damn that bitch good. Hold up. Yeah, man, these pussy ass niggas was over here. <laughs> these niggas was over here playing Pokemon cards. With these nerds and shit, right? Like, man, what time niggas go in and say, look, you play Pokemon cards? Nigga, we didn't know what the fuck that shit was. And in the midst of it, nigga, this nigga, uh, that nigga Enrique tells this nerdy dude, let's just say that nigga name is Todd or some shit. He said, listen, I'll trade you my Trapper Keeper full of Pokemon cards and holographics for your Game Boy. Nigga, this nerd fucking gives up. He was like, fuck yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. This nigga fucking gave him the, the fucking uh, Game Boy, Cuddy. It was like a Game Boy Color or some shit like that. And this nigga here gave this nigga this shit. And man, this nigga stands like, nigga, Todd, you a dumbass. What you doing giving up your fucking Game Boy Color for this Trapper Keeper full of fucking cards, nigga? This nigga said, are you fucking serious, man? These fucking cards worth such and such, this and that. We was just like, what? He's like, yeah, this motherfucker's worth this and this and that. Are you stupid? You're all the ones that are stupid, nigga. This nigga just got a motherfucking Game Boy Color over some fucking Pokemon card. I look at this nigga stand. I'm like, nigga, we need to get us some motherfucking Pokemon card. That nigga like the show, nigga, we need to get some. So I remember that day, nigga, I went home to my mama, right? Like a nigga was, I went up to my mama. When I got home, I said, Mama, can you please, can you please buy me some Pokemon cards? Pokemon cards? I ain't buying no damn Pokemon cards. I'm gonna go to the store, I'm gonna go to Walmart, I'm gonna get y'all some groceries. You don't need no goddamn cards. This and that. I was just like, nigga, I knew. My brother was over saying, nigga, what the fuck are you asking her about some fucking cards, nigga? And I had told him in the room, I said, man, yeah, nigga. This nigga just gave away a motherfucking Game Boy Color for some fucking Pokemon cards. That nigga said, nigga, quit lying. He said, nigga, on my mama, nigga. He really didn't give a fuck. So, for disappointment, I went next door. Right? I went next door to my girl Brittany Crib. I was mad in the hoe. Because I was trying to get in on this fucking game, right? I go over there, she in there in the living room with her sister, and her mama come and she's like, hey, what's going on, right? I'm like, she ain't nothing much. Nigga, her mama look like that fucking frog from the WB, nigga. <laughs> nigga, she was built funny, nigga, like for real, Tasmanian devil, pink panther built looking bitch. <laughs> for real. She's fucked up. He's like, I'm gonna go lay down. Y'all don't keep up all that noise. All right, whatever, bitch. I'm trying to put the daughter, bitch. <laughs> well, anyway, my sister's sleeping shit. And so we just over here watching TV and shit. Maybe Martin, I don't know. Whatever, we just watching TV. So I was telling her about school and all that other shit going on. I had to go to the bathroom, right? So I get up and I go in the kitchen, right? And on the counter, Cody, her mama, heavy ass smoker, nigga, goddamn shit, uh, Amtrain smoking ass bitch, nigga, she smoked a lot, nigga. 
Bitch, I had a custom-made coin purse, nigga. I mean, not coin purse, but a cigarette purse. <sighs> nigga, the devil was talking to me, nigga. I was walking. I saw that bitch on the edge cutting. I was just like... I wonder if there's some money in that motherfucker, nigga. I don't know why I did it. Come on, man. I know y'all niggas was like, man, I'm stealing that, nigga, man. That was guns and dubs, nigga. Of course, nigga, I opened that hole. Cuddy, she has shillings, nigga. Goddamn refreshing. Nigga, she has shillings. I didn't even count. I just know that I was horny with the count, nigga. I was like, dang. So, nigga, I stole $20. <laughs> Twenty dollars in her cigarette purse, nigga. Fake like I went. I mean, I went to the bathroom and stuffed that shit in my underwears, nigga. This is that pot roast milk, nigga. I know, right? This shit is fucked up. Stuff that bitch in my underwear. Mm, yeah. Oh, that's some soda cuffing right there. That shit hit. Oh yeah, I like that. But anyway. Hope you like that one, Troop Patrol. Back to these messages. So anyway, I run to the crib, right? And just in time, Cuddy, my mama was bored nigga to go to Walmart. I said, hey, I'm gonna go with you, this and this and that. Well, I ain't gonna get no goddamn Pokemon cards, this and this and that. I'm like, all right, cool, whatever. Woo -de woo Hop in that hell, I was crunk because we was going to Walmart. Now back in them days, motherfucking Walmart wasn't no super center nigga, you know what I'm saying? With Starbucks and all that weirdo shit in there, nigga. This bitch was a hut, nigga. Walmart was small than a bitch. You know what I'm saying? So, nigga, when we get there, branched off of my mama and I went looking for these pussy ass cards, nigga. So, I finally found the bitches in the checkout, all, oh, nigga. I bought two sets of motherfucking Pokemon cards, nigga. And I bought them hoes without her even knowing. You feel me? So, <laughs> nigga, I had a trapper keeper, nigga, at school. Put all them hoes in that bitch. I was ready to will and deal with these niggas, right? So anyway, I go to the library and shit with this nigga Stan. I show that nigga, hey nigga, I got some Pokemon, Pokemon cards. I ain't tell him that's where I stole the money and shit and got to get it. So yeah, man, mama got me these Pokemon cards and shit. This and that niggas, oh damn, nigga, got like four holographics. Woo, 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 yeah. So now I'm in the game. I'm in that bitch. I go around in the motherfucking library. It's like different sections of niggas in here. Now it's much water. The only you got niggas over there trading Pokemon cards. You got niggas playing Magic the Gathering. Nigga, niggas was playing Pogs, nigga. If you don't know what Pogs is, nigga, go Google it. Only 90 niggas will know. Oh. Niggas was in that bitch playing pogs, right? Magic and all that shit. So anyway, this horny nigga, <laughs> this nigga Daniel, right? He in that bitch, right? I remember going up to this nigga because this nigga was goofy as fuck. So I'm just like, man, shit, this nigga would give up some shit. Because Daniel was a rich nigga. He had a whole bunch of shit. So I went up to this nigga and stand by my side. I was like, hey, Cuddy. Hey, man. You see these Pokemon cards and shit, like, you want to get on it. She's like, yeah, I'm going to ask my dad to give me some this and that. I said, man, you ain't got to worry about that, cutting. I got four holographics and a whole bunch of other niggas to get you started. I said, what you got to trade for me, cutting? I said, trade me your, I asked him, let me trade your PlayStation. Because during this time, nigga, PlayStation just launched, cutting. Well, somewhat, it was like new. It was fairly new. And he was like, what? Hell no. I'm not fucking trade my PlayStation for no fucking cards. I was like, damn. But being at that nigga house a couple times, I knew that nigga had a money. That nigga had a Sega Genesis, Cuddy. So I was like, hey, man, trade me your Sega Genesis for this Trapper Keeper. You spoil holographics and all that shit. It's a fair trade. Because I was like, nigga, Sega Genesis is old. Like, da 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 da. This nigga was like, yeah. Then nigga was like, uh, I don't know. Stan was like, yeah, nigga, that's a good ass deal, nigga. That Nigga, you know, that nigga Stan was like he was some appraisal nigga. This nigga was like, nigga, you know how much these motherfuckers work? <laughs> you know how much these bitches work, nigga? 
And he was like, all right. Okay, I'll do it. And he was said, ride the bus over my house. And we'll swap. You know what I'm saying? Come to the back. You go to the back and I'll give it to you so my mama won't see. I'm like, all right, cool, back. So Stan was with me. We rode over there. Right? We rode over there. He gave me the goddamn second Genesis in the back. Boom, bam, cool, transaction. We get to the motherfucking crib, right? We in that hole plugging that bitch up in the back and shit. No questions, nothing asked, you know what I'm saying? Mama and that bitch cooking, family doing whatever. My brother wasn't even there. So I'm in that motherfucking hooking this bitch up and shit, trying to figure to hook this hoe up. Nigga, fucking knock at the door, Cuddy. It's this pussy ass nigga, Daniel and his daddy, nigga. His daddy is talking to my stepfather, like, hey man, my son gave away his uh his Sega Genesis to your son and whoop the whoop and without my permission and we're gonna get it back and whoop the whoop the whoop. So oh my dang nigga, my stepfather called me in there. Tell me about this pussy ass shit. So I was like, man, come on, Daniel, come in the room and shit. The whole time we walking down the hallway, I'm like, nigga, you a hoe for real, you know what I'm saying? That nigga was like, hey, what am I supposed to do? My fucking father was looking for my shit. No, 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 nigga, we ain't trying to hear that shit. <laughs> and nigga Stan was like, yeah, nigga, you a pussy ass nigga for that. Woot, woot, woot. Nigga, take your shit. Then he gave me back my shit, right? So the next day... Go back into the library. See who the fuck we can find in that bitch, right? To trade some shit. So we approached our same niggas a little quick, you know what I'm saying? Because by then, nigga, we was in the group. We hear niggas over here like, ooh, ah, you're like, ooh, you know what the fuck these niggas so crunk about? <sighs> My nigga, this is nigga I was with the school with. This nigga name was Connor, cutting. This nigga Connor was a, like a black girl trapped in a white dude's body. <laughs> yes, he was a fairy, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Which is cool. If you want to be a fairy and you, you know you gay stuff, so that's cool. That, you know what I'm saying? More power to you. You know what I'm saying? So the point is, this nigga here had a huge trapper keeper cutting full of oh, nothing but holographics, clean ass cards, nigga. And nigga had the best Pokemon in the fucking town, nigga. So he was like, God dang. You know what I'm saying? He was like, dang, where you get this shit? He's like, oh, my dad and mom, you know what I'm saying? They helped me save it up, you know what I'm saying? Hey, damn, calling the hoes clean. The whole time, man, this nigga stand like, we gonna rob this nigga. <laughs> How do we get to this nigga locker? Well, fuck all that, nigga. We was on some, like, man, them hoes clean. And I was like, man, regardless if you got all these cards, nigga, I bet I can... Whoop your whole deck with a little bit of cards I got. He was like, he was like, yeah, you come on over and we, you come over to my crib and we can battle. He was like, nigga, what? He lived on the rich part of town, Cuddy. So anyway, I was like, bet, nigga, I'm going to ride the bus over to your crib and we're going to, you know what I'm saying, we're going to play Pokemon card. Cool bet. Whole time I'm over here telling this nigga. <laughs> Tell the nigga Stan, we finna get this nigga. We gotta put in the finesse. You know, we gotta get him. He was like, already, man. He's like, thank you. The whole time, it's like a lot of fucking money in them cars. I'm like, me too. I'm like, yeah, we finna get a lick. Mm. That's by far my favorite right there. I love this. Always will. That shit probably my favorite sound so far. So we ride the bus over there. This nigga Archie with us, but he don't even know what the fuck going on. So anyway, we get to this nigga Connor house. He at the crib, right? It's just him and his sister, right? The whole plot was me and this nigga Archie was like, oh yeah. He was like, yeah, y'all ready to battle this and that? He was like, yeah. We was like, yo. But then we noticed this nigga had a PlayStation, right? She's like, yeah, I got to play. I was like, man, fuck these cars. Let's get on your PlayStation. Play, because this nigga had Crash Bandicoot and all that shit. We was like, yeah, nigga, let's get on that hoe. He's like, yeah, cool, let's do that. But friending this nigga like a motherfucker. He was friendly to the hoe. So, anyway, we plug up and play. This nigga Stan was like, hey, man, where's your bathroom at? 
And they can say, yeah, there, we have two bathrooms. You can go to one here, or you can go to one in my room. <laughs> and nigga Stan was like, maybe it's one in your room. That nigga said, yeah, it's down the hallway. This nigga Stan, go down that hall. I'm looking at that nigga. He look at me. He like, nigga, I'm for the search for this nigga shit. I'm gonna need to stand gone, right? We playing and shit on the game. And nigga Stan was gone, like, like Boo Boo Tom gone, you know what I'm saying? Like, as long as take a take dump. I'm like, man, that nigga gone. So that nigga's like, hey, are you lost in there? <laughs> you lost in there? And nigga Stan was coming out that hole, right? I ain't gonna say, Cuddy, do you remember your mama said you, need, you gotta go to your ain't house some more yard? I said, oh, damn, nigga, you sure right, Cuddy. Oh, nigga. I was like, hey, Connor, we got to go, Cuddy. I got to go mow my mama, uh, my, my auntie house, uh, yard or whatever. He was like, all right, okay, cool, guys. Well, I just see y'all tomorrow at school. All right, cool. All right, cool. So we walk out that hole. You know what I'm saying? These niggas live in the rich neighborhood. So, nigga, we had to vamp out that bitch. <laughs> so this nigga says, I said, did you get anything? He said, yeah, I found them hoes. That nigga stole 16 cards. Nigga, holographic, clean-ass cards. And nigga split them hoes up. He gave me eight. I got eight. This nigga Archie was like, y'all fucking stole from Connor's house. I was like, nigga, shut your bitch ass up, nigga. We trying to get paid. <laughs> so anyway, nigga, we get we get to the crib. We and then you know we split off. School that next day, nigga. We in the fucking gym. And that bitch getting ready to trade, nigga, because we had them things on us. You feel me? Well, here just talking, tripping out. I'm talking to Rick and talking all these funny ass niggas. And whole ass nigga caught her approach. That nigga said, That's not my motherfucking Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> you saw my motherfucking Pokemon cards in my room. I know it's one of you. <laughs> Cutty. It was like, Nigga, get your bitch ass back. Nigga, ain't nobody stole no Pokemon cards because that nigga was loud, nigga. All these niggas was like, ooh, like, thinking like it was like fight mode for the happen. We was like, man, get your bitch ass back. Ain't nobody stole nothing from you Y'all did. Y'all was the only ones at my house. And when I came home, I put all my, my cards in the room. And then all of a sudden, y'all leave. And then I go check my stuff that night. And then the motherfucker's gone. And nigga said, I told my mama that y'all stole my cards. And, and, and we're going to uh, press charges on y'all. But nigga call them, bitch, because we didn't steal them. <laughs> Nigga, the biggest <laughs> nigga. If I see you, I'm big you down. <laughs> this nigga Archie talking about Cuddy I ain't had nothing to do with this shit, man. I didn't know they was stealing your car. <laughs> he said I didn't know they was stealing your cars, Cuddy. I said, nigga, shut your bitch ass up, nigga. He said, man, I'm not gonna go to jail because of y'all, nigga. This nigga storm off like a bitch. Storms off, nigga, and goes to the motherfucking office, cut I'm like, nigga, we was like, Archie, you home? The fuck you sit there and tell that nigga that you that that we jacked these niggas car that jacked this niggas cars, man? And he could just be like, man, he just shaking his head, just shaking his head, shit, like he was having a seizure, or some shit, man. God damn, hold up. We got called to the office, sitting in the motherfucking council room. Parents came up there. We both got charged up our parents. And for that fuck nigga to tell, this nigga Archie mama came up there and ate that nigga alive. That's what the bitch get for snitching. Good thing we didn't go to jail or nothing like that. We just gave that pussy ass nigga his cars back, man. Shit crazy, huh? All being horny over some fucking trading cards, nigga. But it, it went down like that in middle school. Mm. That everybody is my Denny's Mukbang story time video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's your boy RDR, and like I always say, man, hey, look, food is a gift, so please give thanks. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you don't like this video, really don't like it, 
Slap me with a thumbs down. It don't matter, Cuddy. I'm going to love you like I always have. It's your boy RDR, and I'm signing out of here. God bless y'all. Take care. Already. I love you guys, and I will see you very, very soon. God bless y'all, and good night.